Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Agriculture. In the past, we have been talking mainly about the type of filtration system in our RAS system, mainly is it biofiltration, sand filtration, and etc. But one of the most overlooked items by a lot of RAS operators is actually the pumping system, which is equally important and it is able to distribute flow throughout your system. So in this episode, we'll be talking about one of the things that we do every week to make sure our pumps are operated in an efficient manner. So for many RAS operators that utilize some sort of pumps or centrifugal pumps to pump water through their sand filters or biofilters, these pumps do have a strainer basket in the inlet point to filter out any solids that might cause damage to your impeller or even the sand filter. So what I see with many of my clients is that many of them do not know that they have to clean this strainer from time to time depending on how much can, how much solid do you receive on a daily basis. So as you can see, most of our solids that are being trapped in the train strainer baskets are things like fish bones which tends to be left over feed or waste from the crab farming system. So it is important for you to clean out the strainer on a weekly basis to remove out any solids that get trapped there so that you have a high and efficient pumping system that could pump through fluid through the sand filter without much pressure loss. So this is a point that is often neglected by a lot of rust operators and what tends to happen is that the pump will not be able to perform at its optimum rate due to the re excessive solid that has been accumulated in the strainer basket. So for this setup, um, we are actually running it on a mud crab fattening facility. So the waste is mainly due to uneaten feed and crab feces or etc. So for our other setup, which is actually a crab holding and quarantine system, we utilize a different kind of pump. This is a specialized inverter pump. So we'll just share a bit more about what the kind of waste that are being trapped in this strainer basket. So before we take out the strainer, we will just turn off the outlet valve uh, to make sure that we have no water flowing back from the other system. And as you can see, all centrifugal pump has this uh, lid on top where you can easily open it up and it's sealed by an o-ring. Make sure when you put it back, the o-ring seal is over there. And let's just take a look at the type of straight waste that is in this drainer basket that is used for our holding system. So as you can see, as in our holding system, we do not provide feed, but there are a lot of strings from the tight crab which tend to get sucked in. And there are also shrimps that have been sucked into the holding system. So we're just taking out the shrimps and just putting it back into the tank. So as you can see that shrimps and even strings might get caught up in the strainer basket. So this is after cleaning and we'll just make sure that it's assembled back properly. Need to make sure that the hole aligns with the inlet and then you seal it off again to make sure that you have a good seal and when you run it, you do not have leaks that are leaking out from the lid. And make sure that your guys make sure that there is a installed o-ring before you install the lid and make sure that it's all tightened. So this step is really important to make sure that your pumps are working at an optimum flow so they are able to deliver enough pressure and flow through the sand filter. And if you look at our setups, a lot of our biofilters are being aerated using venturi system. So this is actually key to making sure that our systems are functioned at the most optimal manner. Mm -hmm.